Fashion law is essentially really just law. It's corporate law, and your clients happen to be more, you know, in the fashion industry. But really, it's a lot of IP, copyright. It's geared towards people who have a niche need and requirement. And so comes the phrase fashion law. It's an industry focus. The foundation has to be the certain types of laws that are applicable to that business and that industry. The law is the law regardless of what the industry is. Your knowledge, substantive knowledge about the actual inner workings of the business of that industry will Im impact the application of the law. Louis Vuitton taking on vicarious liability for new market owners. Mm -hmm. like, that's, a, that's a huge one. We've got Sears bankruptcy. That's going to be very interesting as well. So there's some big cases coming out in the sort of counterfeiting retail space. And I did a consultation with a client two weeks ago, and this was about um, the emergence and legalization of cannabis. So if you fa follow the fashion law, they're actually talking about how there's so many trademarks that are coming in through not just the US, but even on the Canadian side that are looking to incorporate either the logo or the phrase into products. And fashion is one of the industries that are being um, influenced by this. The business reality that's different in Canada though is that in the States you guys have huge brands and you have a marketplace with such huge economic opportunities, but in Canada it's more limited. And yeah. with a limited marketplace and a limited um, access of funding for designers, you end up having a pool of clients that don't have a lot of disposable income. Building those relationships and networking is a huge part of what we do. Um, and kind of reassuring them that, you know, if you are interested in making this a business, there are gonna be times that you're gonna need to talk to a lawyer and get, you know, your ducks in a row before you launch. Start to engage with the industry in different ways so you really build that foundational knowledge and that network. You are sort of, your own resume and your ability and your experiences will speak to the individuals who you network with if you do it in the right way. So I'm a firm believer in hustling and sort of marketing yourself out to firms that you are interested in or even mentors or potential individuals who can help you further down your career.